Several years ago, I had this man that had been dating for a long time. And he came into my office. He wanted prayer. He said, I can't find anybody good. And he said, let me show you my list. And he brought out a legal pad. And over the name of every person that he had been with and dated, he wrote everything that was wrong. And I just laughed and I said, well, tell me something good about each person. And he said, what do you mean? And I said, that's exactly what I mean. And this is what I'm asking you to do today. Find something of value in everybody and in everything in your life. Most people look for the bad. You know what? They find it. If you were a friend of mine, I wouldn't want you to look at my bad attributes. I would want you to find at least the one good thing and focus on that. We all have lots of bad things, but we have lots of good things too. Unless we're blind to finding those things. Do you look for the value instead of the flaws in people and in situations. Maybe you have not always been a value seeker, but from this moment on, you can and you will be. The very attitude of beholding the best in others and in circumstances is in itself a silent but a powerful message that calls out strength and beauty and truth inside of us. And there is something of great value always ready to be expressed. God's Spirit is present in every person, waiting to flow out, to flow out as love and kindness, as comfort and as support. God is present in the very atmosphere in which you live and move. And it is a vital connection between one heart and another. Because you decide to hold something of value in others. You value the Spirit of God. And you value, because of that, Everyone and everything in all of God's creation. In Matthew 13, 45 and 46, it says, The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. And on finding that one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and he bought it. Well, when you find the great value in another person or in a situation, it becomes heaven on earth to you. And you will sell all of your complaints and criticism and you will buy the good part. And therefore, the good part will come to you. I pray that you value the presence of God in you and in all of creation. I pray that you have the power of doing this. It is a spiritual power of looking for the good and finding it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.